So we're here at Addison Road where we're really excited to be setting up a dedicated exercise facility. Um, we're sort of calling it like a not gym. It's going to look and feel nothing like a gym, but the idea is that it's a, a space that we can provide access uh, to people who typically wouldn't be able to afford or have the resources to engage in exercise. Um, so we're starting by focusing on people from a refugee background, particularly women, um, because we know that movement and activity can have such a significant impact on how we feel. Um, so really it's about trying to provide access to the, the most vulnerable and the most disadvantaged. Um, and the part that I'm really excited about is actually making sure that we, we co-design and co-facilitate um, each of the programs we run. So for example, if we have an exercise class, we're going to have someone with lived experience from the community um, and also what we call an expert by training versus an expert um, by lived experience. And that way we can ensure that the, the services are safe, um, comfortable and welcoming and also enjoyable for people. So what we're doing today, we're really lucky to have um, Moz, Fahat, uh, Mawa, who are artists. They're also people um, that have experienced life as a refugee. Um, they're painting a mural that's going to end up in our, our exercise facility. Um, so Moz is, is leading it. Uh, Moz spent eight years in you know, locked up in Manus Island and also the Park Hotel in Victoria. Um, and he's got one message, and his message is love. He's really uh, positive about the exercise program and he's been coming and, and hanging out with us and helping us develop it and, and make sure that it meets the needs of the people we're trying to reach. One of our, our key visions here is that this program is going to be run by both people with lived experience, so that's lived experience from the communities we're working with, and expertise by training. So what we mean by that is that we're going to have exercise physiologists and eventually physios, dietitians, working alongside people from the community, delivering these programs together um, and really valuing that lived experience. The other opportunity here, in addition to research, we're, you know, we're going to have the opportunity to do hopefully world-leading translational research, um, but we're also going to create a training opportunity for UNSW students to really help build the health workforce of the future.